Hey chickies, okay today we are doing pink and gold roses, something really sweet, I really hope you like it, let's get into it. As per usual, all of the details about everything I use will be in the description box down below. First step is to paint your nails with the base colours, I'm using a pink and a mint green. One of your pink nails we're going to paint some gold stripes. Now a tip to do this freehand without using any striping tape is to roll your finger, not the brush. So to don't move the brush as much as roll your finger back and forth and you'll actually get quite straight stripes. <laughs> it doesn't always happen that way but most of the time it does. On your other pink nail you're going to paint some gold roses using the gold polish. Now we're just painting kind of splotches, they're not proper circles, you don't want them to be neat because Roses aren't really neat, are they? Next step is to add some definition to our roses. We're using some white polish and creating these little lines in and around the white roses. It's, it kind of gives you more of a vintagey rose feel. Next is to add some tiny little dots. I'm using just the end of the same paintbrush we used for the detail on the roses and the same white polish. They don't have to be uniform, as you can see, mine are not. Uh, and I think it adds to, well I say that because it gets me out of having to do everything perfectly because I just don't. And nobody should feel like they have to be perfect all the time. It's ridiculous. Too much pressure. And lastly, to marry the whole design together, we're going to use the same paintbrush, the same white polish, and create the same non-uniform, not perfect little tiny dots on both of the green nails. Once everything is dry, seal it all in with a good quality top coat. I'm using Seshby as per usual. And that's it. I really hope you like this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, Tiki. Oh, and thank you for subscribing. And thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.